guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a plant tour, showing you guys all the plants that I have. Um, I think I have about maybe 15 or 20, so I'm pretty proud of my collection. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what I've accumulated throughout the year. I think I started collecting uh, last November, and yeah, it's just grown since then. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, and let me know if you guys have any other plant-related videos that you'd like to see. And without further ado, let me just show you around. So a quick disclaimer, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll probably be calling them all by their common name, but I also have their scientific name listed um, on, the, on the board. So first up, I have my Bird of Paradise, or its scientific name is also um, at the bottom here. I actually name all of my plants, so these guys are named Bart and Chase because, you know, Chase Paradise and Bartholomew. I just felt it was very tropical. Next up, I have my Monstera Deliciosa, which is one of my favorite plants, to be honest. It's grown so much since I've gotten it, and I just love it so much. Uh, it's actually named Frank because, you know, Monster Frank. I was just like, oh, it's like cute. Next up is my White Fusion, or uh, Calathea White Fusion, however you want to call it. Um, this one has been giving me a lot of troubles. As you can see, some of the leaves are crisping, and I wasn't really sure if it was going to survive, so I haven't given it a name yet, but hopefully it will continue to grow out leaves, and maybe it will have a name soon. Next to that, I have a Calathea ornata, and this one has been giving me so many issues. Like, literally, I got this, and it was okay, and then all of a sudden, it began crisping, and all the edges were, like, black, and basically all the leaves fell off, and now it's this sad little like trio. So yeah, I'm hoping it will revive itself, but we'll keep you posted. Next up, I have my uh, Trio Star, which is another one of my favorites. When I first got it, it had a lot of um, leaves that were browning, so I was kind of concerned about it. And it was kind of pricey, to be honest. Um, but then after a little while, I was like, okay, maybe I, sh I should just repot it. So I repotted it. And then I separated out all the healthy ones from the non-healthy ones. And it's honestly been thriving since. Next up is my rubber plant. He has been growing. No complaints here. There's a new leaf, as you can see, unfurling at the top. And yeah, not much to say about him. This guy is my Monstera adansoni, uh, also a Swiss cheese plant. He's currently sitting in water because my friend DDA actually got him for me, so thank you DDA. I'm so excited to see him continue to grow and thrive, and I will have to put him in soil soon. Um, just back here, I have some plants that are in water, and I'm trying to propagate. I don't think the monster is going to do well, but hopefully the rubber plant will, you know, start to develop some roots. And just at the back, it's just an aloe vera plant. Nothing special. It's not really mine. It's my mom's. This is my pink princess. Uh, his name is Prince, obviously and he is one of my other prized possessions because he's so pink and so cute and i love him moving on this is a prayer plant that i have uh his name is preston he seems to be doing okay um i don't know he's not really one of my favorite plants but he's okay for now so we'll see if i keep him in the near future and this is henry who is my little fiddle leaf fig um, he was one of the first plants that I got. actually he was the first plant that I got that kind of started this whole obsession And then just next to him is my spider plant. It's honestly grown so much and I feel like I need to repot it soon But not a priority because I don't really like it that much Next up is my string of hearts. Um, I have another one downstairs that I had to separate this from because I wasn't really sure if it had mealybugs or not because it had these white things and um, I decided to put it into quarantine to like, you know, see. And so that's downstairs and I'll show you guys in a bit. So next to that I have my terrarium that I built at an event that I went to. It just has some random air plants. And then right here is my snake plant. His name is Jacob. I like him. He grows really slowly, I feel like. And not much else to say about him. And this is just a general overview of that little section of all the plants that I have. Don't mind the mismatched wood. Uh, my house has been under renovation for the longest time, and I don't even know when that will be completed, but that is why it's mismatched. Next up, I just have this um, palm. It's actually a footstool palm. I, I thought it was a Chinese palm at first, but um, I did a bit of research, and I think it's just a footstool palm. I like him. He's cute. Uh, his name is Paul, and yeah. 
And then right next to him, I have my ZZ plant. He is so big. I love him. This is another snake plant. It is the moonshine variety. He is looking a little sad, also in quarantine, trying to figure out if anything's wrong with him before I move him into my other plant area. So the thing is, I like to keep all of my plants that I acquire um, like isolated slash in a separate area from my plants that have been established just because I want to make sure that they're not like infected with bugs or anything like that. So that's just a general tip that I would give anyone who wants to collect plants. Like when you bring a new one home, make sure that you leave them somewhere in isolation kind of, you know, to make sure that there are no bugs that will attack your other plants or just, you know, making sure that they're a-okay before you move them into your permanent areas. And then lastly, it's this dumb cane plant, I think it's called. It has been in my family for so long, I don't even know how old it is, but it used to have a lot of leaves and then I noticed that there were scales on them, so I decided to chop a bunch of them off and then I kind of spot treated the ones that could be saved and then it's just you know continuing to put out leaves so i'm pretty happy about that so hopefully the next time i show you guys this plant it will look a lot fuller and not so bare and sad looking thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please subscribe like and comment and i will see you guys next time bye